Hello everybody, so in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to add mods to Minecraft Java using the Modern's app. So, let's get started. The first thing you wanna do is make sure you have the Modern's app here. If you don't have the app already, you can go to your web browser, and I will have links in the description if you need them. So, just go to your search bar and search up mod wins like so, and then you should see the moderns.com website here. So just click moderns, and this will bring you to the modern form page. From there, you go to the top of the website to get moderns app, you can click the button and then all you want to do is click download the modern app here. Okay, so once you have downloaded the app, you can close your web browser, you can install the app and then you can open up the modern app. Okay, so once you have opened up the modern app, you want to first log into your Minecraft Java account and once you do this, you can go to the plus icon here on the left. Here, you can do create new instance. And from there, you can give it a name, so we can do anything, I'll just do mods. And you just need to know what your mod is running, so I know I will be using like Iris just to show you, so you just need to learn about the mod first. But for example, we just do fabric here, and for the game version, just select the game version you want to play. I will just play the latest Minecraft version here, and then you just want to do create. From there, it just adds this instance here. And we just need to wait for it to finish up, and then we should see it right here, mods. And here it is fabric 1.14, and all you want to do here is click install content. From there, we can choose mods, resource packs, data packs, and shaders, but we just want to stay with mods here. And now, we can see that we have a couple mods that we can get for our version. There's actually quite a lot, but all you want to do here is simply go to iris shaders here and you want to do install now of course you can choose any mod you want i'll just use iris shaders and from there if we go to the mods again you see that we have mc 1.1.4 jar here so that is the 1.1.4 version of iris as well as sodium so this means that if we click play it will just boot up minecraft with fabric 1.1.4 as well as two mods because Iris Shaders needs sodium to work. So that's what's useful, is that it always adds the dependencies, which is pretty useful. So all you want to do here is just click play, and then it will just load up Minecraft. So let's just wait for that. Okay. So press enter to enable the narrator. Once we have Minecraft here, we need to change our settings because it does reset settings. But what you want to do here is go to a single player world or if multiplayer and realm supports the specific mod you have but in most cases it will just be a server with the mod or just a single player world. As we're using Iris, it really doesn't matter what we're playing it on as it is client side. So any client side mod will kind of work with anything. But here we have Minecraft like so. And Sodium is a rendering engine kind of so if we do F3, we can see that we have sodium renderer here, and all we need to do here to test out if we have iris that worked is simply go to escape, options, and video settings, and we see shader packs. So iris right here, and iris lets you use shaders, and we can clearly see that we have the option to add shaders just like in Afterfine. So yeah, that is how we add mods to modwins, which is very easy, and it also adds dependencies if there is any. So yeah. That is how we do it. So if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one. Bye.